A rotating solid steel shaft is simply supported at points B and C. The force F from the drive gear is located at a pressure angle of 20 degrees. The shaft transmits a torque to point A of 350 newton meters. If the shaft has an ultimate strength of 560 megapascals, a fully corrected endurance limit of 183 megapascals, and we're assuming conservative values for the fatigue stress concentration factors KF and KFS of 2.4 and 2.1 respectively, what should the diameter of the 250 millimeter section be if we're using the DE Goodman criterion and the design factor of 2.5? This is the second example for the shaft design main video. Links to the first example and the main video are in the description below. Just like in the previous example, the design factor will depend on our material properties and the capital A and capital B coefficients for which we developed expressions in the main video. Notice, however, that the torque is constant, so the given value of 340 newton meters will be the constant mean torque, which means that the alternating torque is zero. The moment, just like in the previous example, will vary from a positive to a negative value for any point that is located on the surface of the shaft. This means that the mean moment or average moment is zero. The only term that we're missing is that alternating moment. Since the shaft is rotating at a constant angular velocity, it means that the angular velocity is zero and therefore the sum of torques is zero. As opposed to example one, we don't need to draw a bending diagram for two orthogonal planes. Since the direction of the only external force is angled at 20 degrees above the horizontal plane, the reaction forces at B and C will have the same orientation. A sum of moments about B would reveal the value for the reaction force at C, and the sum of forces in the 20 degrees direction would reveal the value for the reaction force at B. A bending moment diagram would show us that the maximum moment occurs at C, where there is a stress concentration due to the fillet of the holder C. The normal stress caused by this bending moment will vary from a positive to a negative value depending on the location of the point on the surface of the shaft. This means that this value is the alternating moment. With the A and B coefficient values, we can now substitute to find the diameter of the shaft. For one more quick example, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.